Welcome back, students and parents. One of the number one questions that I get is how to check your grades in Google Classroom. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through three different ways that you can access your grades in Google Classroom. So let's take a deeper dive and check it out. As a student, when you sign in to Google Classroom, the first way that you can check your grades is simply by looking at the course that you want to go into and there is a card, okay? There's a card here that you can click on and if you click on that card, it's going to take you to a list of all of your grades for that particular course, okay? And we're going to talk specifically about what each one of these items mean here in a minute and this is a test student so don't worry about um, seeing another student's grade it is okay the second way to view your grades is if you click on the course under the stream topic you can go down and select view all when you click on view all you will see any work that has been assigned and in this case nothing has been assigned you will also see any missing work so if i click on missing i can see my missing work for this week last week and earlier in the week or earlier in the school year for that matter also if i click on done i can see the work that i've actually done that i've actually turned in and we'll take a closer look at that information here in a second and the third way that you can view your grades is when you click on the course and go to the classwork tab under the classwork tab there is a section called view your work and this is probably the number one way that I tell students to check your grades so if I click on view your work it's going to look very similar to the first way that I showed you guys by clicking on that card and if I scroll down I can see every single assignment and this is in the order based on the assignment due date okay so if I scroll down I can see every single assignment what I'm missing what's been graded and so forth now there are a couple of things that I want you to pay attention to over here on the left side you can click on assign work which will show you all of your classwork that has been assigned for a particular class you can click on return work which is going to show you your work that has been graded for a class and then you can select missing work and that will show you all of the work that you have not turned in for that class we're going to go back to assigned work and i want you to notice that you have assignment due dates here you also have categories so you can see right away what assignments are summative which are 60 percent what assignments are standard checks, which are 30%, and what assignments are learning tasks, which are 10%. So please keep that in mind. Now, all of your classes may not show this information. It really depends on the teacher and the settings that they've chosen for that class. Let's take a look at the graded work. Notice that for each assignment, you may see a little speech bubble that has a number that lets you know that there are some comments that you need to read from your teacher. You also see the little paper clip that lets you know that you have an attachment for that work. If you take a look at the graded side over here, notice it tells you when something is done late. And sometimes for me, something or all of the assignments are not necessarily going into the gradebook, so you may just see a check mark indicating that you've completed that assignment. Now, I want my parents and my students to pay very close attention to a couple of things. Some students just go through and they click on turned in and the work is not actually submitted. So I'm going to scroll down here and let's see if we can find one um, just so I can show you guys what I mean. So here is an example. For assignment number three, dive into drive, a student has turned in their work. It was done late, it's a 30% standard check grade, but notice if I click on it, it lets me know right away that no work has been attached. So just because a student has clicked turn in does not mean 
there's actual work attached and that's very important because I get this a lot with my students and I know students sometimes you like to show your parents hey I turned it in but actually there is no work attached so please parents look at that um, when you're checking your students work so let's take a look at some of the graded work here if I click on assignment number four which was done late it's a 10 percent grade Notice that no work has been attached, which is why the student got a zero. And notice the teacher has left a private comment saying, you did not attach your work. So please make sure you read your comments whenever you're checking your grade. Here's another assignment, the student made a 100. Notice you can actually see the work that is attached and there's a paper clip indicating there's something attached. And the teacher has left a private comment for the student to read. Let's take a look at another assignment. Now this one is a quiz. Um, now in this case, it says no work is attached and that's because this is a test student and he didn't actually complete the quiz. So that's why. But typically, you know, you would see the work attached here. Of course, if the student has a 100. And for this assignment, again, this one is just graded with a check mark indicating that the student completed it. And that's why there's no work attached because no work had to be attached for this assignment. And um, the teacher left a comment for the student. So these are the three ways that you can view your graded work. And just to recap, if I go back to my classes tab, I can click on the card. This is the first way to get to your work. Uh, remember the second way if I go into the classroom and click on the stream I can select view all and this is the second way hopefully I said that correct the first time all right if I go back to classes and if I go into my class and select classwork I'm going to select view your work and this is the third way that you can view your grades before I go, I want to add one thing. You may see your class or yeah, your class average um, on the screen whenever you view your grades. You can see it here, or you or actually it may be in the top right corner for students. This is a teacher view. But if you see a class average, sometimes it's not accurate. So I do recommend that you look at your class average in Infinite Campus versus Google Classroom just because depending on whether you are a new student or a student that has been with me the entire uh, semester that average may not be correct so just kind of keep that in mind if you're looking at that class average that may appear in the top right corner of your grade grade screen the final thing that i want to show you guys is um, please as a student and a parent make sure that you are accessing infinite campus to check your grades for all of your classes not just for my class so when you go to the student portal or the parent portal you need to click on whichever one applies to you I'm going to select campus student and you're going to enter your username which should be your lunch number and then your password is just going to depend on what the counselor has set up for you and um, each grade level may be different but if you don't remember the counselor speaking to you and walking you through the steps here, please click on um, forgot password and then just work your way through the steps to try to access a new password for you. So again, enter your lunch number as your username and then go ahead and go through the steps to uh, gain access to Infinite Campus. So this concludes our video tutorial on how to check, check your grades in Google Classroom and also how you can use Infinite Campus as a student and a parent to access your grades.